Our silver specialist, Alistair Dickinson, has given me a rather terrifying responsibility. He's brought in three silver plates. One is worth a thousand pounds. One is worth eight thousand pounds, and one is worth a hundred thousand pounds. So if it goes missing, I shall be in a lot of trouble. Yes, it is this week's basic better best challenge. I'm going to see what our visitors think, and why don't you have a look and see what you think at home as well? So let's work our way up from the bottom. Okay. What do you think is the basic one? Um, I think I go for this is the basic one. Okay. And I go for this is the better. And I go for this one here is the best. And why do you think this is the? Because I have a funny one. feeling that it looks older than the others. And I think older things are often simpler. They seem somehow simpler. And perhaps it can be more sought after because it's rarer in, rare in that right. So that's, that's my guess. Well, I don't know whether to be pleased or disappointed, but you've got this right. Oh, be pleased, um, Alistair. Go on. <laughs> this, as the basic, I valued at a thousand pounds. It was made in 1740 by George Hindmarsh, and the reason why this one is, is basic is that it's only one from a set of 12. The next one, we're moving back in time 50 years earlier to the reign of uh, William and Mary. Uh, plates become much rarer at that period very simple, very elegant. Simple largely because during the Civil War in the mid-17th century, huge amounts of silver were melted down to pay for the armies. And so silver was scarce during the decades following the Civil War. So this was made in 1692. Maker's Mark IA. We don't know who the Maker's Mark is because there was a fire at the London Assay Office. So this one is valued at £8,000. Now, before you come to this one, I just want to tell you, most of the people I spoke to and I felt this was the best, the £100,000 plate. Just because it looks the oldest, it was no <laughs> more scientific than that. Is that the right reason? Um, it's partly the reason. It's, the main reason is the history behind this particular dish. This comes from the earliest known hallmarked service called the Armada Service. Now, that is a complete misnomer oh. because the earliest dish from this set is actually dated 1581, which is seven years earlier than the actual Armada, which was 1588. But each one has the crest at the top of Sir Christopher Harris. He worked for Sir Walter Raleigh. He also was related to Sir Francis Drake by marriage. So a combination of all these things, people called it the Armada service, but it wasn't. It's not actually a dinner plate. This is a spice dish. Oh. And... Which it, well, hence the unusual shape. Yes. And, and the raised yes, and it's slightly mound deeper, in the middle. It's slightly deeper than the others. Now, during the Civil War, the Harris family hid all these dishes, and they were found in 1827 by farm labourers in a cave, and the local paper said there were upwards of 30 of these. And how many are there in existence now? The British Museum have 26. There's this one. 27. One other. 28. So Ooh. there's some more out there. 